Arcane Season 2 recently released into the world, and it's a banger. In fact, the show is so good that whilst you're watching it, you'll almost forget that the show is in fact based on League of Legends. This game, this game does something to people. I have seen this game turn the most calm, stoic monks into keyboard smashing animals. And I am no exception to this. This game turns me into a monster, which is exactly why I don't play it anymore. But all of this begs the question, why does League of Legends make people so angry? What's so special about League that turns people into angry gremlins in their solo queue matches? Well, I actually think I have the answers to this question. And let me tell you, there are a lot of answers. League of Legends is one of the most popular multiplayer games of all time. And when a player base is that large, the number of toxic players is also very large. Maybe as a percentage, only 5% of all video game players are toxic, but 5% of 15 million players is a whole lot more than 5% of 10,000. But there's this funny thing that happens in League of Legends, as well as in some other games with toxic communities. See, the toxic community creates a feedback loop on itself. People are toxic in chat, which makes people angry at the game which makes them more likely to be toxic themselves to other people. That toxicity can rapidly spiral, creating even more toxic players than there would be usually. So if most games only have like 5% of its player base being toxic, League of Legends has something closer to 20% of its player base being toxic. But this isn't just the only thing causing this toxicity. Most people aren't going to become more toxic themselves just because some idiot said nasty things to them in a chat. There needs to be other factors involved that make people angry. And unfortunately for League players, there's a whole bunch of things about the game itself that really rile people up. League doesn't have an in-game voice chat, so you can't just tell your teammates what you want to tell them. Instead, League has a ping system. Now, most of the time, these are used to tell your team what you want to do. But then, there's pings like this one. This is the bait ping. You're meant to use it to tell your teammates to bait the enemy into a fight so that you can show up and swing the fight in your favor. But the League of Legends community, in their infinite wisdom, thought that this ping kind of looked like a rope tied into a noose. In reality, it really doesn't look like that at all, not even a little bit. But once someone had mentioned it on social media, the meme started to spread. They're giving me the, 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 the rope emoji. That's the rope emoji. Someone it's just give him the rope. They're all telling me to kill myself! Now, I know I'm supposed to say that's a bad, but it's really funny though. Like, it is really funny. After this happened, Riot changed the way the bait ping looked, just trying to make people use it for its intended use. But by the time they decided to change it, it was already too late. People associated the ping more with toxicity than they did the actual intended meaning, so the spam continued. Until in the end, Riot decided to just give up and remove the ping entirely. Although this didn't really solve the problem of spam pinging, because spam pinging your teammates existed long before any bait ping did. Because when they made the ping system, Riot made a very, very big mistake. This is the missing ping. It's intended to tell your teammates that an enemy player is missing on the map. But do you see the mistake they made? Riot decided that this ping should be a giant yellow question mark. A question mark that makes an intensely obnoxious sound whenever it appears on your screen. Whenever you make a mistake, your teammates have the ability to drop a giant yellow question mark on top of your head. And they can do it six times each before the ping goes on cooldown. You know, the missing ping is actually the most versatile ping in the game. Your teammate did something stupid, missing ping. Enemy team did something stupid, missing ping. Teammates did something incredible, missing ping. Oh, look at the class, look at the move! Enemy missing, missing ping. Every League player has seen this at least once. Somebody doesn't get their role, or they don't get their champion, or they start losing early in the game and think it's someone else's fault. So they start running around and trolling, all the while spamming slurs in chat as they go around. In fact, certain streamers have made a name for themselves through their toxic personalities. Their persona online was born through intentionally trolling League of Legends matches. And when a content creator does it, suddenly it becomes cool to do. People get the idea from watching some some old Tyler 1 clip, and then the next time something doesn't go their way, they run it down mid for the entire match. Unsurprisingly, these people are already very, very mad at the game. But if you're just queuing up for a game to kill some time, being the victim of one of these trolls is an absolutely rage-inducing experience, all feeding back into the vicious cycle that is League of Legends toxicity. 
In League of Legends, there's three lanes. Typically, one guy goes top lane, one guy goes mid, and two people go bot lane. But League is a 5v5 game, so where does that fifth player go? Well, this guy is what you'd call a jungler. His entire job is to roam around ganking other people's lanes. He kills these little neutral minions between the lanes, then he goes to someone's lane and tries to kill them. So his entire purpose is to create uneven fights around the map. If you yourself are the jungler, then this is a barrel of laughs, but being the guy on the receiving end of a jungle gank is really annoying. So both teams have to deal with a player whose entire role is to create unfair fights around the map where the laner doesn't really feel like it's their fault they died. Of course, in reality, it totally is your fault if you die to a jungle gank, but that doesn't change how it feels to die in one. But you might be thinking to yourself that this means that being the jungler is the least rage inducing role in the game. But that couldn't be further from the truth. The jungler spends a lot of time looking around the map, more than the other roles do. Which means that when you're the jungler, you have front row seats to watch your teammates do the dumbest shit you've ever seen in your entire life. And worst of all, when someone starts losing their lane, the first person they'll go to blame is their team's jungler. Which actually leads me quite nicely onto the next point. League of Legends is a 5v5 team game, where your ability to win is directly tied to the success of your teammates. And when you've got teammates like these, do I really have to explain why that can be frustrating? Now, if you're significantly better than everyone else in the game, then you can just solo carry the entire match. But if you're playing matches at your own skill level, this is a rare occurrence. Some roles have more impact than others. A mid laner or a jungler can roam around the map more easily than the other roles. So they can impact every lane so that when they get ahead, so does their team. Whereas a top laner is a lot more isolated and is less able to help with their team. So sometimes it doesn't really matter how well you do personally, if your teammates are getting rolled, you kind of just can't win. And unsurprisingly, losing a game where you personally played really well is an intensely frustrating experience. But the worst part of all comes, yet again, from what people are going to type in chat. People are so quick to blame others, even when it's clearly nobody else's fault but their own. And because of that toxicity feedback loop we talked about earlier, the more you see others play the blame game, the more you yourself feel like you should start blaming too. Always pointing the finger at other people people for the loss, never trying to look at what you yourself did wrong. League of Legends is what you might call a MOBA. Team-based, multiple lanes, minions that go down those lanes to push down towers to eventually destroy the enemy base. But League being a MOBA is, in my opinion, one of the biggest reasons it makes me so angry. See, when I play other games, and I fight an opponent, and I die, when I respawn again, me and my opponent stay exactly the same. So when I see them again, I can learn from my previous mistakes and win the next fight that I have with them. But MOBAs don't quite work like that, because MOBAs have gold. Killing minions, killing towers, and most importantly, killing enemy players gives you gold. You can spend that gold in the shop to get items that give you more stats. So when I fight my lane opponent and I die, when I respawn, I am literally objectively weaker than my lane opponent. So now we both come back to our lane and they have items that just literally give them more stats than I have. So in our next fight, I'm even less likely to win than I was before. Now you might be screaming skill issue at your monitor right now and yeah, you would be right. But it's a skill issue that I have to live with for the rest of the game. And League of Legends matches can last more than 40 minutes. Me dying in the first two minutes of the game makes me objectively less powerful than my opponent in a way that can last for the next 40 minutes of my life. And it can be made even more frustrating when my first death was the result of an enemy jungler coming to my lane to kill me in a 2v1. Other games just simply don't have this problem. If I lose in a fighting game, the next time we play, the playing field will be just as level as it was when we first fought, but not in a MOBA. But this isn't where it all ends. There's one final nail in the coffin. Let's say you just finished a league match. The enemy jungler got 7 billion million kills, many of which were on you. Your lane opponent got insanely fed. I love league of Legends! Someone started running it down mid after the game went south. People were screeching at each other in the chat the entire time. And now, you're on the end of match screen, and you go to report some of your teammates for what they did in the match, hoping that they'll get banned for it. 
Fucking idiot. You thought people would get banned in League of Legends for inting a match? In my League of Legends? Obviously not. Don't make me laugh. The report system in this game just, it just does not work. The report system is incredibly quick to ban people for the things they type in chat, but it's so incredibly slow to ban people who actually troll games on purpose. Because people intentionally trolling is way harder to detect with automated systems. Now, I haven't played League of Legends in quite a long time time, so maybe the report system's better now, but I have screenshots from accounts that I've come across in my time playing League. I saw a tweet that showcased a guy that had a 2% win rate on a Moomoo in Iron 4. A 2% win- a 2! 2! In 81 games! He was just completely sprinting it in all of his matches, and he was able to play almost 100 games before getting banned. There were also examples of accounts getting hacked, and then playing dozens of games of Pike support with Smite just running around trolling their jungler. These are old examples, but I have no doubt that these sorts of accounts still exist to this day. So as to Cherry on top, after experiencing all of this depressing toxicity, these people don't even get banned for their mistakes. They just get to keep playing. So this is why League of Legends makes people so angry. And by people, I mean me. I'm I'm people. This game, it, it, oh my god, it just meant, uh, League of Legends is known for its toxicity by now. It's the number one thing people think of when they see this logo. And just a word of warning, if you've been watching Arcane and you've been enjoying it, do not let it tempt you into playing League of fucking Legends, because League, League of Legends is an evil video game. And it doesn't matter how cool the world building is, nor the characters are, League of Legends is not free to play. The price is, is your sanity. Thanks for watching.